Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. This is gonna be for your weekly, bi-weekly. Okay, <laughs> I forgot what, where am I now? Okay, so this is your bi-weekly. Make sure to check out your monthly horoscope. It's already out, the October astrology and the eclipse. So those are two videos and the monthly and the weekly. And we're now here for the bi-weeklies. So I'm not doing astrology today and let me explain briefly how it works, um, how tarot works. So if you're new, of course, uh, you don't know um, you know what tarot is and all those jazz. Um, so you can watch this with whatever placement that you have. And I don't do, even though you can, of course, because uh, this is not astrology. This is called tarot for a reason. So it's not based on sun, ascendant, moon sign, or whatever. It's not because those are charts. This is tarot. So what are we really doing tarot? So... The way the tarot works, you're up there, you're in front of me, the tarot will pick up your situation, your energy, and that's how I read you, even in personal, in my clients, that's how I do it. Um, and then astrology is different, you need your time, place of birth, and we look at nakshatra, placements, dignity, strength of planets, yogas, you know, different Varga charts, that's astrology, this is tarot, so let's begin. Mm -hmm. Let's see... All right. What I'm seeing here for the Aquarius is that you're very much um, all about um, change, relocation, moving, new home, new car, new you, new boo. Everything is new. Okay. So if you're a person who's looking for your ex, I don't sense them here because you've moved on from your ex. You're more about, I understand the good and the bad of the situation, and I'm here. Okay, and I have overcome everything that I thought I will never overcome. What you look right, what you're looking at right now, Aquarius, is the part where you have transformed, healed, and you know a big cycle of your life has you know it's chapter. If it's divorce, done. Breakup, done. Dealing with a karmic, done. Everything is done. You know. You're all about like, I need to find my place of comfort and I understand that, you know, doing this for me is more important than anything else. So you're kind of, you're an adult basically, you know. Yes, you're an adult. Once you start really going within and then addressing yourself, then you become an adult. It's not about the age. Yet you are stepping into your maturity. We all step into maturity at different time in our life. Normally, you have to deal with someone who's tragic. And then that's the tragic event that you will, you know, not event, you know, dating, basically if it's relationship. And you've dealt with that. You know, you're very much secure. I know why I talk like the crown. <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> you're like, damn, damn. <laughs> Too much Netflix. Okay, and I haven't even seen it. <laughs> I need to stop this. <laughs> But darling, <laughs> it's an aqua read. Okay. So call me TITS. I will never be serious in your read. Mm. And don't try to change me. <laughs> this is who I am. Okay. So with the chart over here, all right. So nothing is impossible because nothing, you're not holding on to anything. You know that you limit your own growth if you hold on to something. You hold on to a job that you probably don't feel like you like. Or you feel like you, you know, it's your soul calling. Then you limit your growth. You hold into a relationship because you feel like again. Then you don't grow. All these feelings, garbage. Move on. Okay, that's why I say garbage because you're not happy with it and it's not giving you that soul fulfillment. Garbage. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that you were dealing with a lot of garbage, and you're saying it's like I ain't no garbage disposal over here. I'm out. Mm. The death card. So. I feel like you did this like, in a heartbeat, you know? No one's dying, you know, because you know, it's a heartbeat and death. 
Not a good combination to say. <laughs> okay. But with a death card, it is what it is for you. And that's a very air sign of you. You use logic, not emotion. And that's why for you, it's just like, I just got to do what is right. And the death card, you know, is like, I gave it chance. I gave it a try. And it's not like I didn't. So it is what it is with a death card. That's the beauty of, that's the story of, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's the beauty of aging and learning. Oh, I guess you can age without learning, darling. <laughs> so you've aged and you've learned that there are things in life that really comes to an end. And for you to hold on to it, it's going to be the death of you, right? That's that one. Good. I like that. Especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio. <laughs> Say, don't worry about them. Oh, you should be worried about yourself okay? <laughs> if you're dealing with a scorpion. I'm kidding. Okay. Knight of Wands. Here comes the ex. Okay. That you said, I don't want anymore. But they still want you. Plain and simple. Peanut butter and jelly. Sag. Younger fire sign. Wants to talk to you. But you said, leave me alone. I don't have time for your immaturity. What do they have for you? Here. Ace of Cups. But I love you. Uh -huh. Okay. Ace of Cups. Knights are messenger. Ace of Cups is a message. So you expect a message from them. This first two weeks of um, October. Now, the way that this person is going to come to you. Excuse me, guys. Okay. The Ace of Cups is more about um, uh, an apology. Yes, can be an offer um, to admit their feelings. Yes. Um, they, you know, they thought about this through and through if they should reach out. You're coming. Having the Ace of Cups here, also, it looks like you or your person is emotionally challenged before, and then now they're they're telling you it's just like no, I have these feelings for you. If the Ace came before the Knight, it would have been a new person. I know, tragic because it's the same person that you've been dealing with. Um, Six of Wands here. It looks like your person can be in and out of your life. They text you, they message you, they say that they're sorry, and then they come back again, and then they, this is what they do. Okay, so you have a boomerang, you're dating a boomerang or a yo-yo. Having the six of ones, they feel like, well, you know, if the aqua doesn't reply, you know, they got choices. So intention-wise, they like you only if you like them back. Of course, it has to be reciprocated. But the thing is, it's like they're not even willing to put the effort. So if you deny them right away, they're not going to pursue or chase, no. Because they feel like, well, you know, you're making it difficult. So they're out and about again. Six of Wands here, of course, when they came to you, they feel like, well, you were so much of a stress. And for you, it's like, it doesn't matter. You call me whatever you want because I'm over you. So you can call me stress. You can call me princess. Whatever you want to call me, that's up to you because I'm not dealing with your, with your immaturity. And that's why your person right now, what do they feel? Heartbroken, Three of Swords, because you're not really giving in to the situation. The Three of Swords is them right now. So... Very tragic because they thought like, you know, one message or a slight show of affection towards you, you'd feel like, you know, um, amazed by it. Like you're going to be happy that they reach out. No, that's not your tea, you know. Mm. Maybe it's not chamomile because it's not your tea. Oh, it's lavender. So having the three of swords over here, they look, you know, even though they tried to find other people or talk to other people, um, it, it's ending to this part of a Three of Swords. They're really feeling the separation right now, that there is no coming around. They tried to reconcile. You said, no, this is done. You put a period to this with a death card. So they're soaking here. Mm -hmm. So now your person starts to think that, well, if you're quick to um, to replace them, then of course, this is Swords. So there's thoughts that you already found someone else. So that you're dating. And of course, it's sad because... Um, they think and or they feel that the only way that you can move on is like if you are with someone else relationship wise okay mm. no what's sad about that is like you don't need to be in another relationship at all but that's how they feel mm. that's the reason why you're done with them is you have someone else how about i'm just done with you because you're immature how about that you know we get real here mm -hmm. mm.
Ace of Pentacles. The Tower. Hmm, the Judgment. Hmm, the Devil. Ooh, 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 okay. The Moon and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the vibe here. Okay. Without looking in this deck. Okay. Just the vibe alone. Is that there are things between the two of you that will come to surface. That they have held back for a very long time. When this comes to surface, what you think is over may not be over. Link in the description box for the extended reading. Thank you very much. Goodbye.